right now I'm in Turkey and tomorrow I'm gonna swim from Greece back here to Turkey that's possible because this island is Greek to explain why that's so exciting I have to give you a small history lesson because the history of this region is very interesting I chose this location to make a video because I'm standing in an old Hellenistic temple dates from the first century BC and they don't have an, any idea which god it belongs to at the moment it's mostly used for drinking beer it's right here on the coast I'll take you guys on a walk there's so much Hellenistic Greek uh, ancient stuff here they just find it anywhere you see on roundabouts you see it here everywhere you back to when uh, the Greeks colonized all over the Mediterranean and the Black Sea all the way with Alexander the Great to Afghanistan and India and they left these kind of structures the people sometimes stayed and especially here centuries of uh, Greek speakers Greek culture way later the Ottomans conquered uh, all over what is now Turkey, but also Greece itself, what is now Greece. And Turkic and Greek people live side by side and in the same villages. And especially in this village, Kash, and on the island I'm swimming from, were Tur Turkic and Greek communities. In the time of nationalism, mostly the First World War, the Ottoman Empire ceased to exist. This part of Turkey was in control of lots of other powers, the Italians, the French, Greeks. The Turkish nationalists uh, wanted to create Turkey as a country, whole country, the way we know it now. And the Greeks thought the history here was more Greek, so they deserved, they thought they deserved it. So a war started around where Izmir is now, which is uh, a few hundred kilometers north of here. When the war started between the Turkish and the Greeks, and the Greeks ended up losing, all the Turks got kicked out of Greece, and all the Christians, Greeks, got kicked out of what is now Turkey. They agreed that this part of Anatolia would become Turkey and the islands, which was controlled by the Italians at the time, could remain Greek. The Greek people that lived in this place, Kash, what is now Kash, was actually a majority Greek town and the island was actually was a big big minority of Turks and they got exchanged with each other or they were got sent away somewhere else. So it was a very big event in the early 20s in this region. And now I'm gonna take you with me when I'm gonna swim on that island you see behind me to back here to the village of Kash. It is 5.30 and this morning I'm gonna take you with me on this swimming race. I hope I can film a little bit, I'm not sure. I mean, I can't swim with my camera, of course. I've got this little cat in my room which is great but uh, yeah I'm gonna go swim now Quite quick. The beginning was so easy. We were still in the in the bay. It's like no no waves or anything. It's, and then in the middle, I felt like I had to puke because I got so much salt in my mouth. But it went quite okay. I just had a few times. Like, trying to go straight. But I was alone all the time. Like, I didn't I didn't have had a group or anything. So it's kind of nice. uh, I, no one gave me water. I couldn't drink in the middle. I've got here my proof. My proof that I swam two countries. It says Two countries, one race. Behind me, you see an amphitheater, classic Greek amphitheater. 
that a bunch of Greeks apparently built here about 2,000 years ago. It sits 5,000 people, so it was quite a big, uh, big population here back in the days. Even though I could swim between these two countries, I already told you about the historical tension, but there is still quite some tension actually right now. Even though both countries are in NATO, they have one of the biggest armies in Europe and in NATO to, well, in theory, protect themselves from each other. Greece and Turkey share the Aegean Sea, which Greece dominates because of all the islands they have. Since um, the economic zone is 12 miles off your coast and Greece has so many islands, Greece owns most of the, of the sea territory. Not only does, do you own 12 miles outside of your coast, also, in theory, you can exploit it economically, for example, with resources and fishing, 200 miles out of your, or kilometers out of your border from the island. So that's kind of the reason why this island is controversial, since all around it here is Turkey, except for that little island. That means that the sea on the other side, if there was some gas found or oil, it would be Greek. Greece, it would be Greek. And of course, if gas or oil are in the game, there's always a lot of tension. Anyway, with all this tension, it only makes the swimming race more special. I can re recommend anyone to do it. It's only seven kilometers. I did it in a uh, little over two hours. And uh, since I'm burning in the sun here, I will end the video now and we'll see you next time.